is September 7th, 2017. And this job here, I gotta go uh, back and put some antifreeze in the system that I worked on last week. Uh, the lady's finally home, so I can head on over there. Uh, I changed an expansion tank and I worked on a power venter. But, um, yeah, I gotta put antifreeze in the system. So I got like, you know, um, 15, 14 gallons of antifreeze, minus 100, glycol. I'm gonna do is drain the system down and then pump that stuff in. So I'll try to give you some shots when I get over there. Um, last couple of days I've been kind of working around the house and stuff. It hasn't been really crazy busy at work. So I haven't really haven't had anything great to post. So it is what it is. I'll give you some shots when I get there. I got a couple of cleanings to do today, oil burner cleanings, and I got to do that antifreeze. So it's kind of like in between seasons here. It's um, Probably been around 70 degrees, so nobody's running the AC and no one's running the heat. So, uh, it is what it is. If I get something decent that I, I can video, I'll, I'll, I'll take some shots and uh, post a video. But it's not going to just do anything just for the sake of posting a video if it's not good. It's going to be something decent. The baby dog is working again, yo! Got some nose action happening there. Doing some sniffing. Oh yeah, you are. You are one sniffing machine. You are one sniffing machine. All right, guys. I get any. Uh, if you get anything decent over there, I'll post it. All right, guys. We're down here at this boiler. I'm gonna drain it down and put antifreeze in it. Two zones and a storage tank, which is three zones. It's got two hydro air units, which have the coils. Um, it's got the hydronic coils in there with AC. There's one on the second, one on the first. I, the one in the attic will freeze. That's why we need. That's why we need the glycol. I did have to change this um, control box and this power vent the last time I was here, and I think I changed the expansion tank. And I purged all the zones, so let me hook up my hose and we'll, uh, we'll drain it. I'll put my pump here. The way I'm going to use the pump's going to be pumping in to that drain, so I'll hook that up. So when I drain the system, I, I uh, prime my pump at the same time. Alright guys, so I got the boiler off there. I'm going to shut the water feeder off. What's the feeder going in? Let's just see if it's stuck. That's fine. We'll shut it off. That's the water coming in. Now on my pump, I have it so I got it backwards according to this, but I'm going to be sucking out of a bucket so it's going to be coming into this pump. And then that's the discharge into the boiler. And I'm going to do is take hoses from there into a bucket. Then I'm going to suck out of the bucket into this. And the bucket's going to be where I add the antifreeze and water to mix. So we're going to drain it right now. So right now when I'm draining this, I'm filling this pump with water. And then it's going to be all ready to go after sucking out of the bucket into the system and back through the pur to purge it. What I'll do is I'll put three hoses on there into a bucket um, to relieve the pressure. Alright guys, so I got these three hoses on here and I got these all open so I'll be pulling the air in through here and it'll help it drain. This one's got a uh, spiral vent. Help it drain, I could take this off too if I wanted. I shouldn't have to. It's draining, it's draining fine. Once we get all the water out, we'll use that as a transfer bucket. We'll put a suction line into there, into the pump, and we'll dump all the stuff right in there. The antifreeze mix. I got what? I got one, two, I got three of the two more of these full. And this one's like three quarters full. That I had in the garage. That's like what? 14 gallons? That'll be fine. 
Alright guys, I took off the high vent. It'll help it drain. I'm just put a little bit of pipe dope on there and put that back in before I refill it. I was back here on what, the 26th. Today's the 7th, 9-7, so. A couple of weeks. The relief valve looks okay, it's not leaking. It's dry. It's dry, so I'm alright with that. three hoses this is going to be my my mixing bucket right here and then I got ten more gallons so that's probably four gallons four and ten that's fourteen that'll be enough there was any freeze in the system before but I, I purged it all out flushed it all out good last time I was here so we will um we'll leave a tag on here any freeze in system once it drains the rest of it out, we'll give it the old Gundy. Put that back in when I'm done. Alright guys, it stopped draining, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut these three off. These three returns. These three returns are going to go into this bucket here. This bucket, if I need water, I'll use that to add water. If I'm going to add water, I'll use that. I can get water right out of the water heater if I need water. These three are open right now. We're just going to leave one open. I'm just going to leave this one open for now into this bucket. The inlet, we're going to take this. This is the hose that was draining. So this is the inlet. And you see, I got this. It's got this little adapter on it. Um, we'll put this on the pump. And that's going to go inside the bucket. You can see it, it, can't, it can't bind up because it's got that end on it. So it's going to suck out of there. So this pump is going to suck out of there. Let me get this out of here. So you notice how I put this in. So it's going to come into this pump and then out into the boiler. Uh, now this is all full of water. It's ready. I just plug it in. It'll start pumping. If not, you have to prime it here with water. All right. And once I start using that... I'll add these buckets to keep it going. So what it's going to do is it's going to go in from the bucket into the return. It can't go back to return because the valves are off. So it's going to go up the supply through each zone back into the bucket to get rid of the air. That's how we're going to purge it. I'm going to put this back on and we're going to have a flood. Back on, if not, we'll have a flipping flood. We don't want no flood, Mama. We don't want no flood. All right, we'll plug it right into my light here. Put a bucket over.
system back. Can't go that. Can't go back to the boiler because it's off and it's going through the hose. Still hasn't come out. Still hasn't come out yet. This is coming out. see that zone's running good now what I'll do is I'll shut that zone and I'll open up the other zone Basically just using that bucket as a transfer bucket, uh, sucking out of it to the pump, through the system, and then back out the hose, get rid of all the air. And the last one I gotta do is the water tank.
tricky part is, you know, shutting that off and shutting this off at the same time so you don't build up too much pressure in the boiler. The pressure right now is about 10. So once I shut that off and come over and shut this off, it's going to want to build up pressure. It should be around, right around 15, 20. We're ready to go here. So I got these three off. And I got this boiler drain here off. All right. We're good. Oh, we can re we can restore the the water feeder in case we lose lose anything. This will fill in. That's it. And I'll pull all my stuff off, and then we'll check the antifreeze. All I have to do is open these three. Restore the, the flow to the boiler. <clears throat> we'll check that. We'll see what that is. Alright, the only valve in it below, so that's good. Got them two valve, all them valves opened. This is not working. Our pressure's good at about 18. And it's coming up to speed. I did leave tags here, glycolin system. I'm going to put one over here on, on the, uh, by the feeder too. Alright, drain boiler. Pumped in glycolin boiler and zones. Perch good. So that's it. You just have to check the glycol level when I get outside. It's in the bucket, so we'll check it. Uh, you don't want to put too much in. Uh, maybe 30% is all you need. Check that stuff. See what it's like. Don't forget I had added water to that bucket, but that's 14 gallons. I don't want to put no more than that in there. That's good. See what it says fear. Doesn't have to be crazy. See, I'm 34% there on the right. You don't want to go and put too much in there. 30% is good. I forget I had added water, but that'd be good. That's all you need.